Now this. Chipotle. They got a new CEO. He's coming on board soon. Uh, may even be there now. Brian Nickel. Now he previously ran Taco Bell. Chipotle stock is down 60% since its high back in 2015, thanks in part to E. coli issues. John Taffer is with us. He's the author of Don't BS Yourself. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's on the screen if you want to read it. Okay, John, you're in the business of turning around restaurants. You do it on TV and you do it very well. Do you think Mr. Nickel can turn around Chipotle? And what has he got to do to turn it around? Well, he has been a master communicator with Taco Bell on social media, and he is very smart in branding and communication. And, you know, they have really two issues at Chipotle. One is their branding issue because of reputation. The second issue is they have about 2,400 restaurants, Stuart, and they don't have the corporate structure. They grew too quickly. So there's some disorganization in the company. Also, I'm going to bet that as soon as he steps in, we see more menu items, we see breakfast, and we start to see a lot of organization. I think he's going to turn it around. Okay, what do you do about this problem of food safety? I've heard a lot of t stories about it, oh, including one that says, look, if you nuke fresh fruits and veg uh, vegetables in particular, green leaf vegetables, if you nuke them, then you can stop any salmonella whatsoever. Is, is that likely to happen? We're going to use that kind of technology for food safety? Well, you know, also when you bring it to temperature, you'll destroy bacteria. So, you know, food has to be held at certain temperatures, served at certain temperatures so that the bacteria doesn't either develop or you kill it once it's there. But that's one way to do it, Stuart. Fact of the matter is it's standards. Cutting boards have color code systems to them. Even knives have color codes. Different gloves for different purposes. Raw product never touches cooked. It's very systematic. And when you think about the problems that Chipotle has had, they're really an unusual situation. We don't see this happen very often. More often than not, it's not an issue. And it goes back to their organizational problems, which I think Nick Nicole's going to fix. I do. But you think that this guy does have a good shot at turning Chipotle around. Got it. Okay, I want to move on to McDonald's slimming down the Happy Meal. They're taking the cheeseburger out, or at least taking it out on the menu yeah, side. And I think. The Happy Meal. Yeah. What's the that all meal. about, John? Well, it's actually part of a bigger picture, Stuart. What McDonald's is trying to do is they're trying to get the Happy Meal under 600 calories. So they're adding fruit. They got rid of the cheeseburger. They're adding a bottle of water. And, you know, th th that's their mission, to just get it under 600 calories. But if mom asks, she'll still get the cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. So 600 calories is the magic number. Get below yeah. that and everybody's happy. <laughs> yep, that's it. All right, John, thanks for being with us. I hope to see you again soon on television, okay? Good luck to you. Bye-bye, Stuart. Yes, sir.